Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and this video is all about speed. We want to make everything faster, our websites, our process of writing the code, even our process of transpiling, compiling and everything. We want everything to be faster. Talking about the faster, there is a new kid in the town, you might have already heard or listened about him, known as Bun. This bun is challenging the existing node throne and yes, it is challenging it quite accurately. There's a lot of buzz around it so I thought let me give it a try, install that and see that how this is working. Is it compatible with existing node packages and if we bring them in, is it going to impact any speed of it and is it really worth all the hype that is around the bun itself? Before moving there, let me give you a brief history that why we have so, so many tools like Babel, Webpack and why do we need actually them? It is very important for you to understand that what JavaScript is and how we actually use it. In the modern world, the JavaScript is being used where it was not designed to be used. JavaScript is a really simple language, it just manipulates few things on the web and that's pretty much it. But in order to make a website faster, especially when you are producing more and more feature every day, you need JavaScript to do more. Maybe just write HTML from the JavaScript itself or manipulate the CSS from the JavaScript itself. But JavaScript was not meant to do all of this. A lot of new modern features of the JavaScript actually were introduced for that, uh, all of the classes, zero function and all of that. But in reality, still to this date, a lot of browser do doesn't understand that kind of fancy JavaScript syntax. What's the solution? Let's bring up simply a tool in between that can convert all of your modern JavaScript and put that into a simpler browser-based JavaScript thing. And these tools, there are a lot of them. Bebel, Webpack, there are few which you might have heard already. Now, in the modern world, JavaScript doesn't need to be just compiled or just transpiled. It requires a whole lot of them. Your JavaScript code needs to be bundled, needs to be transpiled, and then finally, it needs to be compiled. Yes, all three needs to be done. And yes, there are lots of tools these days. You can do that using Go or you can use this in, Z in Rust. A lot of people are using this. But the way, the approach that Bun has used is via the language Zig. Yes, it's a very underwhelmingly known language. In fact, all the hype is coming around this language after the introduction of Bun. Now, the approach that Bun has opted for is not the classic V8 engine. This is using JavaScript core engine or formerly known as JavaScript core. Yes, this is almost like an engine which you find in the Chrome like V8. There is also an engine which can actually run your JavaScript without actually into being in the browser. It can stand alone run the JavaScript. Now, Bun is called as battery included do everything that you want to do. You don't need to install anything separately. Bun does all things for you. Speed compilation, parsing of the entire project. It provides its own dependency manager of the tooling that you want to do. And last but not least, bundling is also included. Now, obviously, Bun is designed way ahead of the Node.js. So out-of-the-box features are pretty impressive. So JSX is out-of-the-box there. You also have TypeScript support, of course, uh, these days because it is being designed later on. CSS in JSX, which is also kind of a way of how to write CSS and produce faster components, basically. So all of this are provided out-of-the-box in Bun. Yes, of course, it misses out a couple of features like minifying of the JavaScript and all of that, but I'm pretty sure they are on the way. Okay, so you know about the theory about how Bun is, what it is, and how and what market it is targeting. Now let me show you, walk you through with a code example and how you can install Bun on your system, on a computer, can uh, do a React app and can move forward in that direction. Now before going ahead and walk you through with the installation part and uh, creating a React app in the Bun and running it through the Bun, I would like to introduce you sponsor of this video. Since we are talking about speed in this video, let me introduce you to the sponsor of this video. Now, we talk a lot about WordPress as well. And we all know that WordPress websites are notoriously known for not having the speed. Now, this is not a fault of WordPress website. It's a gigantic uh, thing that you can, it's really difficult and hard to control it. Now, the way how you organize or you speed up your WordPress website, there are a couple of things you can do. First and foremost, your updated servers, your PHP version should be updated, then lazy loading of your CSS and JavaScript and lazy loading of your images in a couple of ways. You surely can do it manually, just gonna take two months, and a few experts are gonna charge thousands of dollars and can do manually. But you can actually automate this process. So let me introduce you to the sponsor of this video, 10web.io. Now 10web.io is a new and advanced WordPress hosting platform, but it's not just hosting, they do a lot of things. Now one of the, my personal favorite one of their product is AI Builder, but today we're gonna be talking about their new product that they have just introduced, which is 10web Booster. Now this 10 web booster is really 
Nice. And the first thing that catches everybody's eyes is this 90 score. So in your web vitals, in your web page speed, you receive immediately a 90 plus speed score. Best part is, yes, you can do all of this for free. Yes, literally all of this for free. Now, all these speed ups and all of these things are not magic. And I'm really happy that they openly mentioned this. This is not a magical process. They walk into their website and then analyze a lot of things. Which plugins are making your website heavy? Which plugins can be optimized further? And what more you can do? For example, if you scroll a little bit, they say that, hey, we do it a step-by-step -step process via writing code. We do the CSS and HTML minification. We do JavaScript minification. We lazy load your images. We use a critical CSS up there, preloading of the images. Also, they check for what plugins are making your website slow, what alternative can you use. There's a lot that you can do. And the best part is just click on to my dashboard, just sign up, it's absolutely free. And then all you gotta do is you are simply taken up here. I want to optimize my website, just click up here and click on download web booster. This is also available on wordpress.org from where you download all of your plugins, install it on your website. They allow it uh, totally free for homepage and five other pages as well. And that all of them are gonna get a 90 plus a page speed score. So absolutely free for that. So go ahead, give that a try in case you have a WordPress website. Go ahead and give them a try. Maybe you'll like it. It's absolutely for free. Go ahead and check out the description section where the links are available. Again, a free plugin for WordPress to speed up your website. Go ahead and check out uh, this link all up here, 10web.io. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to my computer and let's see that how we can actually install Bun and how we can proceed further on that. So for that, first let me walk you through that how we can install Bun. So let me just go ahead and bring the bun website up here. So there we go, this is. So all you need to do is go on to bun.sh and this is where all they mention how to do all these things and stuff. Now this is where you just have to just copy this script and you can just work on with that. I was a little bit confused that it's installing everything on the bash, but I do have zshrc on my shell in the Mac. So is it going to work or not? But by the way, you can just go ahead and click on the script. And if you look on this script, you can see that it is already taking care of the ZSHRC. So that's so nice of them that they are exporting all the paths and everything. And they are fully aware of how things are going to work on the Mac. So that is really nice of them. Once I install this, I can go up into the terminal and let me show you that. Once you have this, you obviously have to reload your terminal and then you can just run the command uh, bun and it gives you all the things like you can run the ben dev and bun bun <laughs> and it just starts a dev server it bundles the dependency all what we have let me expand this and we have this create run install add remove so all of the things yep battery is included they rightly said that all of this is available now what i did after that is i helped in creating a bun new project a react project obviously so you can go ahead and say bun and simply say create and hit enter and it says hey uh, what should i create uh, is it a blank project? Is it a Discord interaction? Oh no, next, uh, React, what do you want? I wanted a React, so all you gotta do is say uh, bun create React and then the name of the project. So that's what I did. Simply, I can show you that what I, I think that's not here. So that's what I did. Only bun create React and then the name of the project. Once it was done, I opened this project up here and this is how it looks like. Uh, the bun project is everything created. Only new thing which is interesting, it comes up is the bun.lockb, which is a binary lock file. This is not like package.json file, package.json lock file, almost like that, but in a binary format. So what you have to do is simply say bun dev and it just runs. Yep, it was really fast. The creation of the React project was also fast and the running, it's insanely fast. I have to now check out that what happens when we install a lot of packages on top of that? Is it really fast at that time? Because usually the core library is pretty smart and pretty fast. But once you load up with a lot of things like Lodash, who, who uses Lodash these days? But if you put up Lodash, UUID, a lot of mongoose on top of that, does it still behave that fast? That is the way. So I tried a little bit more on that. Uh, so let me walk you through. So in the package.json, you can see I installed a UUID package. And that package is not coming actually from the bun. That is coming up from uh, npm. So all you gotta do is I install this npm install UUID. So it installs a UUID package for me. And what I did after that is went into app.jsx and uh, imported this line, import v4 of UUID v4. 
and just display it out and try to see that whether the existing npm packages works or not yep they work they work out of the box and you can install more packages and give it a try now also this reminds me a couple of graphs and chart which was given by jose he's a lead front-end engineer and let me show you what he analyzed it was a really nice graph that he deduced so let me walk you through with those graphs as well Okay, so all these graphs are not by me. They are by Jose, who is a lead front-end engineer. So a big shout out to you as well. And these are not my graph. These are taken up from uh, directly from the Jose itself. So a couple, only two graphs that I found interesting. The first one is transpilation. Yep, that is insane. So notice the time and second, what Bun is taking versus what the Babel is taking. Yep, that's a clear winner. And that's not a project which is just tiny bit or a hello world. That's a pretty big project and that's pretty impressive as a graph. And the second graph that impressed me a lot, again, both graph from Jose, not from me. Uh, the second one is this one, which is creating an app. So whether you are creating a React app or Next.js, uh, there's a significant difference of how quickly that is being done, regard, given that your internet speed is same and good. So notice here that it, what it takes for Webpack plus NPM and what it takes for Bun. And yes, I saw the significant difference of creating the app, even running the app, transpilation is good, this is good, so I think there is a lot. Now again, Bun is not production ready. There is a lot of things which are missing in the Bun, especially the minification of that. And uh, nobody has actually vouched that I'm putting this into production and it's being used by 100,000 people, it's working fine. So this is still an experimental version. And your job right now is to simply just keep an idea, keep in mind that yes, there is a project like this which has a potential to grow in later phase, and that's all. That's all, that's all you should be worried about. So again, this is all about the speed for the bun in this video. Go ahead and check out our sponsor for this video. Go ahead and check out their uh, new plugin on the wordpress.org. I'll link that in the description section as well. And in case you want more videos on bun or something, uh, I'll keep on doing more experiment on this and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.